A handicapped man is recovering tonight after being badly beaten over the weekend. Good evening. Thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 6. I'm Calvin Snead. And I'm Kim Chavin. Jasper Jones sits behind bars tonight, charged with assault against Chad Lane, who is quadriplegic. And it's not the first time Jones has been arrested for his violent behavior. Back in May, Jones went to jail, accused of punching Marion County building official Roy Brackett. It happened at the McElroy's Barbecue Restaurant in Jasper. Jones was later released from jail, but still upset about the money he owed the restaurant owners for damages resulting from that fight. This weekend, he decided to take it out on their son by allegedly brutally attacking him. Tonight, our top story, News Channel 9's Jerry Askin is here now with reaction from those restaurant owners. Jerry. Well, Kim and Calvin, Chan, Chad Lane is recovering okay right now, but still in some pain. Now his parents have one question for his attacker. Why? All is well here today at McElroy's Barbecue in Jasper. But the owners, Angie and Gary, had quite a difficult weekend dealing with what happened to their already handicapped son. I just feel like it's real bad to, to pick on a handicapped person, you know, in a wheelchair. Sorry for whatever he's going through, but he can't run around and take it out on everybody in town. Angie McElroy says her son, Chad Lane, was hanging out at Ronnie's Red Eye Bar on Saturday. That's where she says this guy, 65-year-old Jasper Jones, got into a verbal dispute with her son over an incident that took place at their restaurant back in May. I just believe that he's just angry because he owes our business money for the damages that he did. She says her son told Jasper to talk to his father about the issues and told Jasper his father was on his way to the bar. But before Chad's dad could get there, it was too late. And the manager here did not want to speak on camera but says the incident all took place here in the parking lot. He says Jasper Jones actually drugged Chad 20 feet here. And that's where he says he choked him and then punched him in the mouth. In 2003, Chad was paralyzed from the chest down in a horrible car crash. The McElroys still can't come to terms with why Jones would want to attack their son, of all people. As far as I know, he'll never be able to walk again or anything. And uh, it's all going to start happening. If my son's neck was injured again, he could end up on a ventilator, you know, and um, everybody in this town knows my son. And Jones remains in jail now on no bond. There was a bond hearing scheduled for him today, but that hearing was postponed. Kent. Jerry, thank you very much.